Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to get these two enemies here, Minion 1, Minion 2. Basically, I named them Dim and Spider. We'll change the names later, maybe. But we're going to get these two guys to reduce the health from our player. All right, and it's actually easier than you think. Um, it's all about making this as simple as possible. And it's going to have a lot to do with utilizing the melee clips that the attackers use. All right, so let's take a look at that. So the first thing I'm going to do is select our player, or not our player, but our enemy here. And I'm just going to go down into the trigger where it says draw. And I'm only doing this so that I can get into the folders quicker instead of kind of going through here. Um, it's already organized, of course, but um, sometimes this is just a quicker way to get two things. So I'm going to select the weapon and we're going to take a look at what is assigned for the attack right so we know that we have dim attack one or two depending on your game but i have dim attack two here and so what i'm going to do is select the actual melee clip and we're going to take a look at that melee clip now we already have this melee clip set up to do things um, but we need it to reduce the damage when it uh, actually uh, hits the player okay all right, so to do that, just go down to the bottom where it says on hit, and we're gonna select add action. All right, so here, once we select add action, what do we want it to do? Well, on hit, we want to reduce the player's health, and to do that, we need to reduce the stat, and we wanna change the health attribute. Okay, so I'm gonna change the health attribute there. All right. so. To do that, we're just going to select this here, and what we want to do is actually select Invoker. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so that the Invoker is going to be whoever evokes the on-hit function. So, whether it's the player or the spider, it's going to reduce the attribute from that evoker. So the player is evoking the on hit function. Does that make sense? All right. So what we're going to do is select evoker. We're going to select our health attribute. You can ignore mana. We're not going to be using that. We're going to health. And then we have operation. And here you have some options. Now we don't want to add. We want to subtract. Okay. And then here you can put in a value. So here I can actually say, I don't know, we can do like 20 right? Um, whatever that value you want to use. Now, of course, you can use a variable for that value if you want. Sometimes it's easier to just go in and change values for the, for your, for all types of different things. But in this case, I'm simply going to have a value set here for this particular attack. And I'm going to have it set as 20. Cool. All right, great. So let's go take a look and see how that's going to work. So now that we set that up, this is our enemy's attack. All right, so I'm gonna go hit play and let's see how it works. I hope it works. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, so. All right, so we, of course, we have our poison, our defense there. I'm gonna step in front, boom. So now he has reduced our player's health and that works pretty good. All right, great. Now there is one thing I wanna go ahead and get out the way right now is that I'm gonna wait for him to turn around. All right, so I'm gonna get in front and block. And what you notice is that his health still decreased. Now, I'm not exactly sure why that's doing that. I, I'm under the impression that anything that on hits, um, if you were to block it, it should re um, actually uh, ignore that action. So therefore it wouldn't uh, reduce anything. So we're gonna come back to that in later videos once we figure out exactly why it's doing that. I've done a little bit of research and I'm still wanna confirm before I say yay or nay to that. And um, depending on our um, outcome with that, that may dictate how the game goes. Maybe we don't use block. There may be something we uh, may change about our player. It may change all types of different things in regards to gameplay. But until then, we're gonna go ahead and just focus on making sure that our player's HP is reducing based on when the enemy is attacking. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and I'm gonna do the same thing for the spider. So let's go ahead and get there. So we know that 
I'm going to go ahead and select enemies in my uh, assets folder, go to minions, click on spider, and we have some things here. So I'm going to select the weapon and just make sure we know what clip is attached here for the one hit. So we have uh, spider attack two, so I'm going to select spider attack two. All right. And then I'm going to go on hit. I'm going to go to stats, change attribute, and I'm going to change it to evoker. And then I'm going to change it to health and we're going to subtract a value. And that value is going to be um, something else like 30. That's fine for now. He is a bigger creature than this one. Um, not necessarily important, but we'll do that for now. All right. And we can have other things happen with the on hit. Um, but for now, we're just going to focus on just reducing the value. Now, and just keep in mind, this is the melee clip. Now, if we were to keep the blocking mechanic um, intact, this is, of course, where we're going to dictate how much defense or poise that this attack will affect um, the poise or the, the, the meter, basically, right? So we can use that for that. All right, cool. So with that said, um, let's go ahead and hit play and confirm that this, this enemy is also reducing damage. All right, so this enemy is also reducing damage, whether or not I'm blocking. And that's only temporary, of course, until we figure out um, what we're going to do about that. And remember, when you run into issues or if you run into things that you can't figure out just yet, don't let that stop you. You know, you want to keep going, right? You want to work on something else. You want to keep moving forward. Um, you know, I would imagine in game development, there's always going to be things that, you know, you might have to fix or you have to figure out and time, you know, starts going down and you just got to move on to the next thing until you can figure it out. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep moving and we're going to work on that in a later video. But in this video, the goal was to reduce the player's health. And now these little guys here are going to attack me and eventually destroy this little robot because his health is at zero. But look at that. He's still moving around. And why is that? And that's because we have not set up a particular mechanic or a typical or uh, a particular trigger to trigger a uh, a death for the player, right? So those are going to be some things that we're going to look at um, in some coming videos very soon here. All right. So I just wanted to get that up and going very quickly. In the next video, what I want to do is focus on now the player reducing the health of the enemy. And what that's going to require is us creating some menus or not menus, but a health bar for both of those enemies. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. To stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon or of course you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.